What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Um, yeah, so if you remember in the last episode, this is exactly where we stopped. We just finished, like, describing, I guess, kind of what's happening here. Um, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. So I guess I have to decide who my favorite is. Um, I feel like... Part of me kind of wants to go with Sayori because there's already a connection between the two characters. So that's probably what I'll do, I guess. Um, what is something? Also, what is... Um, Alright, so she likes horror. I don't know. I was not paying attention. Uh, let's go with fun. Uh, strawberry. Hey, no. Holiday. I, I won't. I'm gonna pick Massacre for some reason. Uh, shiny, promise, pure, jump. That sounds. Um, lust, contamination, misery. Uh, smoochy, smoochy. Incongruent, memories, Valentine, games. Cry. Oh, okay. Uh, marshmallow. Silly, unending email, misfortune. Let's go with email. Heaven sent, starscape, heart. Ooh, I like starscape. Daydream, explode. We're going to explode. That's way cooler. Graveyard, inferno, uncontrollable. Fireworks are cool. There's Doki Doki. Skipping aura, like the Saturn aura. We're going that. Uh, unstable, lazy, waterfall, nibble. Um, let's go with, let's, uh, I actually, special. Empty, romance, poof, depression, frightening. Let's go with empty. Mouse, death, hurt, heart, forget, mouse. Milk, kitty, sticky, candy, clouds. This, these are getting weird. Uh, I like cats. Tenacious, fireflies, peace, whoop, tears, embrace, disown, unrequited, landscape, lipstick, marriage, extreme, fear, nightgown, rain cloud, together. Oh, that's it. I guess that's my poem. It's just 20 random words put together. Hi, Monica. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha, <laughs> you would probably track me down if I did. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise. No problem, Yuri. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Nah, don't worry about it. Make you dive headfirst to literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like you deserved any slack. Terry told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Well, yeah, that didn't mean. And last year, too. Well, I don't know if you plan to just come on, come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ooh, get wrecked. Natsuki so finds herself stuck with you saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. I mean, I guess technically it is. Don't worry. I always give it my best as long as I'm having fun. Uh, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Ooh. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, it is. You two are really good friends, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. You best believe it. Um... No need for that. You and Tyler can become good friends too. Uh, uh, uh huh. Sorry, it seems Olivia said the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, you even brought you something today, you know. Well, wait. Uh, me? N not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Well, look what you did. Sorry, made it sound like it's a big deal, and it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. 
Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. And it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be, girl. All right. What is it, cupcakes? Is it like a cookie? A book. Okay. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... I mean, to each his own, but yeah. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Hold on one second. I had to uh, adjust my seat there. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I'll look forward to hearing what you think. Gosh dang it, it's so hard. This desk is so weird. Anyway, now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book, and I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Where is said closet? Unless it's that where the chair is. Uh, I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Oh, oh, what's up? You looking for something? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized? Is someone else just gonna mess it up? I mean, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just dropped my mouse. Uh, yeah, no, that can be annoying for sure. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. Th there it is! Natsuki snatches out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box out with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait, girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna <clears throat> If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. This is gonna get really old. But I'll tell you one thing. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book like cover. <laughs> in fact. Oh, the first volume of the Parfait Girls. I'm going to show you exactly why. Uh, she shows the books right in my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly... whatever that means. Don't just stand there. Oh, oh, what? Uh, now she grabs my arm, pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills and pats on the ground next to her so they me to sit there. Oh, I see what's happening. Wouldn't the chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can read at the same time. I can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. She crosses her arms, scooches an inch away. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It's my... I feel like my mic is moving on its own. 
It definitely is. Come on, come on now. I am, but nothing's really happened. Oh my goodness. But nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about to, a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. Kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously, you think I'd enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really fun chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen, that's really what makes it good. There's so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I understand. Okay. Hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh... Ow. I just meant that I haven't seen you in your full power. Whatever that... Whatever that means. Ah, uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but there's a lot of baking. Is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Ah, definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh, this is a weird angle. I don't really like this. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Just, just silence, okay? Huh? You, you don't? Uh, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Like, I could never get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like... Eh, you haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club. It's... Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. But it's... Sh I'm... Okay, I'm assuming this takes place in Japan, right? Like, is that a safe... Is that a safe assumption to make? I'm sure that's a safe assumption to make, that this is in Japan. So why would having Japanese books be weird? I just can't win. Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? Ah ha ha Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Hee <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel like a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Yeah, no spoilers, dang it. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom is a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Aw. Are you all ready to win today's poems? Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. Just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Aha. 
but she actually sized herself a good 12 inches away from me. All right, guess I'll stop here for now. Close the book, hand it back to Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Y yeah, but Monica just said, don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is it really? Is that really all right? I say that. I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course, it wouldn't take forever to finish if we didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow, I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? All right, then. I stand up. Return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, do you remember to write a poem last night? I did. Yeah, my relaxation ends. Oh no. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everybody's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh boy. Who should I show my poem to first? Yes, I get to do some decision making. Let's go! We're gonna go with Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sarah. I feel like since she is like the old friend, I feel like something should happen with them, you know? She's my good friend after all. Yo, what's up? What's up, girl? This is a good poem. Oh, thanks. Are you sure it's your first time? Yep, of course. It's not that good. I am the kind of guy who would be writing poem. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Uh, I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. Just reminds you how you really, you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Ah, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees a full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you onto that then. Yeah, bake more cookies and stuff. More free food. Now you read my poem too, sure. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Hee hee hee. We'll see about that. I actually get to read it. Oh no. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to press that. Uh I oh no. I I might have to go look it up because I genuinely didn't mean to press the button. Uh Okay, I found it. I found it here on my on my phone. Uh, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky's blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm mad. I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the right one. Interesting. Uh, I just say, Ori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least, that me f at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. 
Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah, but next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, let's just go down the list. Not ski. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, uh, Natsuki reads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. What, well, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how you said you wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to hope you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh, well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if it was, if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what my real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Uh, uh, you're, uh, you just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <sighs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I mean, I it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. It's just kind of funny. I think it's really funny. Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of the poem for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Oh, I get it. I didn't get that. I just thought it was funny. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay, like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went to it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. Don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Uh, okay, come on, Yuri. What you got? Uh, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, so, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, it's your first time writing a poem, right? Correct. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that I might be after reading that. Oh, rude. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Uh, it's just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's something you'd be playing for. There are so many different skills and techniques to go into writing even a single poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else at the club gives you valuable feedback. Not to be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? 
Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're apologizing to yourself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Wow. Cursive that I can't read. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, I think? It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickens, flickers, I flicker back. Okay, uh, it's like a 7 out of 10. Terrible, no, 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 Okay, I just said it was cursive. That doesn't mean it's bad. What? I wasn't thinking about that at all. But it took you a long time to read it. It actually did take me a minute to read that. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yeah, it just looks like cursive, but that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. You usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering on her last remaining place of comfort, unable to go, let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn than putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up any things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Thanks. Okay. It's Monica, and then I think we're going to be done with this episode. Hi, what's up, Monica? Having a good time so far? Yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Uh-huh. I like it. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Didn't I put, like, depression as one of the options? Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Yep. There are lots of poem stories I hear that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it'd be your kind of poem to explore. Sure, I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take me a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impress impressing them or anything. Ah uh ha -huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for somebody who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way. I see. Well, let's read it. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. I already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choice. Oh, there's a scroll bar? 
a hole of infinite choices, I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's the longest one yet. That's a solid 8 out of 10. So what do you think? Uh, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Wow. I think we're going to pause it right here. Uh, that is episode two of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Uh, still not totally sure what's happening here, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. I made a poem and reviewed the class's poems. So there's that, which they were all pretty poemy, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this and want to see what happens, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. Uh, hit that bell to be reminded when the next episode comes out. And uh, check out the link to the description. I appreciate your support so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.